the right hand and when you turn to the left. So these are the thoughts many have put together, the thoughts of Joel Goldsmith as to how we must relate to these things of, of life and these things that we have grouped into religion and we have to take them out of that point of religion and place them squarely into a point of reality, understanding the terms used as t parts of our own mind, our own brain, our own body and say, yes, indeed, this comes alive to me. Begin also to understand the need to begin to think like as the psych psychologists say, think laterally, don't think vertically. Start to make decisions creatively by allowing your meditation to give you away and then make your decision based on that which comes through meditation. Find yourself moving away from the violence, the knee-jerk reaction of violence. Find yourself moving away from the violence against nature, against each other, against children, against women, against people who have, like, gays or whatever, who think differently or have different lifestyles. Find yourself coming together with nature and life and allowing each to live in peace. Find yourself not abusing nature, the trees, the forests, the bushes, the trees, the lawns. Find yourself not abusing the animals, the little animals, the birds, the, the mice, whatever it may be that scurries about. Find yourself not abusing things and not being violent against things. Find yourself loving nature and, and loving the universe and being one with it. And then you begin to, uh, through your meditation, understand that you flow in this harmony with nature. And Mother Nature will protect you because you are coming back to her. You can't pick up a gun and then come to Mother Nature. She doesn't allow that. Jesus Christ never allowed it. I, I can't understand in so many Christian churches with their flags and mm, soldiers marching and playing to God. Uh, that's not Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ has put your weapons down and turned the other cheek. You say, oh, well, uh, I can't do that because people will take advantage. Uh, then there's no faith. There is no Christ. There is no power that you believe in except the power of a gun. A Bible in one hand and a gun in the other. And that song we sing on Sunday morning sometime, you know, it comes from my, the words come from my heart and they spill on the floor. If God... Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah, very patient. Uh, the song says, the words on my lip and they fall to the floor that if God's on our side, then he'll stop the next war. God's never on anybody's side when you're involved in a war. Because you're always praying for your side to win. You're not praying for your side to win. You're praying for the other side to lose. You're not praying for your sons to come home safely. You're praying for the other guys to die. That's not God. That's not Jesus Christ. We're so out of step with what Jesus really was. God is. It's a new age. Be part of it. Be in peace and in love with all nature. Thank you for sharing this time and the works of Joel Goldsmith. Good having you here. And I appreciate uh, your being on the network. So